Hi friends! Today on Affordably Crafty, I am going to be making my own wool dryer balls. Um, so what we basically need for this is some old pantyhose, which I like never wear this, I don't even know why I'm still holding on to this. Um, a pair of scissors that can cut through this pantyhose, and some wool yarn. So this is Lion Brand wool, and it says on here, perfect for felting. So you do not, not want to get superwash wool for this. Because since it's superwash, it won't felt. And the whole point is for it to be a solid ball after you're done treating this. Um, and I got these in my job lot haul, which I will link up there um, if you want to check that out. So this was $3.00. Um, for this one skein of Lion Brand wool felting, um, which is, to be honest with you, pretty cheap for wool. Um, I've been looking for wool to work on some of my dye discovery projects, but this was in black, and I said, that's pretty cheap for wool yarn. What can I do with this? Besides dyeing, it's in black. They only had one skein. All the job lots I've gone to are like 10, and they only had one skein of this wool felting. I would have bought more of it. Um, so I said, hmm, I bet I can turn those into dryer balls. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so what I did is this is, oops, sorry, upside down. This is 100% wool, hand wash, lay flat to dry. Well, we're not going to be washing this by hand. Um, but it does have directions on the back of here on how to felt it, which is awesome. So it says machine wash, hot, rinse cold, and machine dry. So what happens basically is the agitation makes it kind of turn into this ball shape. Um, so this is the color ebony, which is black. And how much is in here? Oh, there we go. It's a four weight and it's got 158 yards or 144 meters. Um, and inside, they actually have a nice little write-up on felting, which I'm going to show you. Felting facts. Felting is what happens to 100% wool fibers when they are exposed to warm or hot water and friction. The hand-knit or crocheted stitches are fused into a densely woven fabric. Felting is easy to do right in your washing machine, but since every machine is different and since felting is the result of heat, moisture, and agitation, your machine may felt differently from your neighbor's. So basically what they're saying is you kind of got to play it by ear and see um, what is, sorry, there's a bee over there. I'm going to get distracted um, and see how your machine hands up, your machine handles it. Um, so I guess before I get into the instructions, if you uh, would appreciate it, if you would like this video, subscribe <laughs> um, and help support my channel by sharing. Um, I would really appreciate it. So here on Affordably Crafty, I do a lot of hauls, DIYs, and try and find for you some really good different places to find some crafting deals. Um, and I work in all corners of the craft universe. Um, recently, I have very gotten bit by the crochet bug and by the um, fiber dyeing bug. So I've been uh, deep diving and investigating a lot of that. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this wool out and I um, separate it into two, um, two piles or whatever. So each ball is about 75 yards-ish, give or take. And what I did is I wound them into balls. So this is one of them. It's about the size of a baseball. Um, so this is one ball. And here's the other one. So I made two. Did that before. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the legs of this pantyhose, which is now going to be for my felting, and we're going to put the balls in there. Let me do that and I'll be right back. So I have the wool ball inside the end of the pantyhose, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot here. It's really super important that this is a good knot, because if these touch, now you got one ball instead of two, because they're going to felt together and no no bueno on that so I'm gonna tie a knot in this and put the other ball in and I will be right back 
So now as you can see, I have one ball down at the bottom, so I don't need to put a knot here. Then I put two knots over here, then I put the other ball in, and then I double knotted this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the end of this pantyhose off. And so this is going to go in my little craft stash, and it's just going to be for, pretty much for felting projects. So cut. It's as simple as that. This only takes two things to make these, and I am going to go show you how to put these in the washing machine. Um, and we'll be back. So we're back inside, and we're going to begin the felting process for our dryer balls that are going to save energy in the dryer. And also dry our clothes faster, because the balls will knock around and make the clothes move more and help them to dry. So we're going to put them in the dryer. And then I filled up this line to one. This is like an all natural, um, well not all natural, but like dye free and stuff detergent. So then we're gonna shut this and that's the only thing in there. And I'm gonna turn that on. And we're gonna put this on. Hot, cold, medium, normal. Okay, here we go, 50 minutes, see you back here in about an hour, nice try everyone. So the old dryer ball DIY has gone through the first cycle of the washing machine on hot, cold with a little bit of um, laundry detergent. So I can feel in here that the middle is felted, but the outside is not. So on the package, it recommends that you run it through again. So I'm gonna run this through another hot, cold cycle and then see where we're at. I'm gonna put those back in, put the little bit of soap, close this up, and do the same thing again. But I have to change this to hot, cold. Normal, medium, there we go, see you in an hour. Hello, so I have put this, the wool balls through the washing machine twice with detergent both times and then I ran it on high for 20 minutes. So it feels more together. I don't know. I guess I just gotta open one up and look. Worst comes worst, I tie it back up. Alright, cutting this open. Let's see how we did. Emerging from its cocoon. Cocoon. Eventually I'll get it out of here. Hmm. Well, it appears that inside has felted, but outside has not. So this may need another couple runs in the dryer. So, TBD tomorrow. Okay, bye. So here are the dryer balls still in the stocking. After I put them in the wash on hot, cold twice, and then on the highest setting in my dryer twice. So we're gonna see how we did. We're gonna open this up. Hmm. It's a little sticky, because again, it's been felted, so. Hmm. Looks like there's a little piece at the end that kind of got felted separately, so we're just gonna cut that off. really help if I got a shopping pair of scissors, but you can see it's all together and it's been felted, so it's a lot thicker than it was. Now let's check out the other one. Nice. Well, these are both done. So remember, 
these balls, these felted balls, dry balls, will help to lower your energy cost by helping your clothes to dry faster. So these are going to basically live in my dryer and they're going to help to agitate the clothes so that they dry faster. So I hope you enjoyed this easy DIY of making dryer balls out of some wool yarn. Please um, like the video and subscribe if you want to see um, more content like this. Have a great day. Bye.